topic for this video is a Halix local anaesthetic block and it's one of about five papers I've got on the go at the moment. You can see how far I've got with this current paper. What I want to do is have a look at the different versions of Halix digital block and for those of us in Podland, particularly United Kingdom Podland, there's really only one way of doing a digital block. A little bit from the top and to the bottom, a little bit from the other side and to the bottom, but actually there are other techniques out there. Um, frost and V blocks and wing blocks and here's a little article I found on Research Square by Sanchez and Giralt and they compare the, the H technique which is pretty much what I think I do versus a V block. Uh, they're probably more used in the hand and the feet but nevertheless there is there's room to have a little review of the different techniques out there. I don't think I'll change technique, but even from a historical perspective, it will be interesting to see what's out there. So, oh, excuse me, I'm sounding a bit nasally tonight. I've had about three cups of coffee. It's currently very early in the morning and I'm in the far side of the Atlantic, but never mind. So, um, I did a nail surgery guy a couple of weeks ago. He's virtually healed already, but I just, while I had the camera there, did a little bit of um, a local anaesthetic video, so um, enjoy. And we're going to set the video now. We can we can nap, nap her away if that's okay. Yeah. So I've just done, marked up the toe. So this young man, I'm going to have to have you nameless for the sake of the video, Glenn. So I'm going to have to think of another word for you. Oh, that's a little joke there. No, <laughs> it's it's too late now. <laughs> so. So we're going to do local anaesthetic, we're going to talk about local anaesthetic. When we think about how the toes are innovated, effectively what we have is we have a, a proper digital nerve come up and then splits into um, digital nerves. But on the top of the foot we've got the dorsal nerve is the um, uh, medial dorsal, and my hand's in the way isn't it sister, mm -hmm. cutaneous nerve, that's on the top, and on the bottom of the foot it's innovated by the most medial branch of the medial plantar nerve. And for anybody that wants to know about Joplin's neuromas, they, they occur there, but that's another story. The innovation to the distal part of the toe is actually from the plantar nerves that comes up and wraps around. So we're going to block dorsal nerve, get your hand out of the way, Riley, dorsal nerve, plantar nerve, both sides because there are four nerves but remember that that's the plantar nerve that supplies a lot of the distal nail reason being is the nail plate starts off as a plantar structure as a fetus and it comes and wraps around the dorsal aspect of the toe and it brings the nerve supply and the arterial supply with it as well so when you get patients who let you know that they're not completely numb system you have to put a bit more local anaesthetic in never happens to me does it <laughs> <laughs> it's nearly always the plantar nerve you need to put a bit more on. So we're just going to do a bit of skin prep. I'm going to use one of these chloro preps. It's going to make all my purple marking really macky. <laughs> clean, clean, clean. We'll, we'll do a bit of a cleaning the prop properly now. What are we using? We're going to use for today, we're going to use 2% lignocaine. Should really call it lignocaine, really. Which is a proper name, registered international non proprietary name, RIN for short. We're going to use a blue needle, 23 gauge, and then we're going to do basically, kind of, we're going to take some of the air bubbles out. Now, I talk a lot about different types of syringes, so we're going to use a Lewis syringe, this is a Lewis slip, not my favourite, but it's going to do for today. Right, Glenn, are we scratch? Three, two, one. So the first thing, you know, you can put a little bit of a blevin at the top. There's your dorsal You're nerve. Right. You're yeah. not to hold your breath. No, he's too, she's, she's talking to me, Glenn. She's asking if I'm okay. And then you go all the way down. Now you want to see that skin. Now you might get a wee sting there, Glenn. And you want to see that plantar skin tent and blanch. Okay. And that's what you're looking to do. So that's really where you want to concentrate your local anaesthetic there. Some guys will go down to the bottom and inject on the way out. But that's one two, and then sometimes I'll inject on the way out. The other thing I'll do with these, I'm just going to get my fat hands in the way, viewers, is I'll often come across and do 
dorsal of the toe. Ooh. Don't pull the face. So then when you do the lateral, it's normally a little bit better. Three, two, one, scratch. I know you can't see that, but take my word for it. So dorsal lateral all the way down. And I'll oftentimes just take that toe. I'll be looking in 3D where the nerve is. As you get down to the bottom, you'll get a few oohs and owls. Yeah, he's pulling the face, but that's okay. He's laughing there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's a good sign. It is a good sign. So, that looks quite good. So it's a little bit blanched underneath, which is really where you want that local anaesthetic to be. And that is our digital block. Safety needles, we love these. Safe. Put that in your pocket now and go home. You don't, but you could. Very <laughs> good. All right, stop there for a minute. So that was him done for completion. Here's the pre-local anaesthetic pick. Note that I'd actually marked up the sulcus I was going to do. I often bang on about this. Always make sure you mark up the operative site. There are cases medical legally of the wrong sulci being done, which is pretty much indefensible. So we went on, he had the local anaesthetic as you saw. He was numb within a few minutes. I don't use small doses again as you saw. And then he proceeded to have a lateral PNA with finalization and resection of the hypergranulation tissue. And I'll do a video of the technique another time. Thanks for watching. Sorry about the chatter in the background. You'd think this bloody posh hotel would have some of the quiet people in bed by now, but never mind. Back to the coffee.